everybody, my name is David Franco and welcome to the weekend of La Petite Vlog. Lighting kind of sucks right now because I'm, well, you, you guys are quite literally in the closet. But I wanted to get a, like a nice dark intro because I painted my walls black this week. Thought they were going to be dark gray, but they ended up being pretty damn black. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I like it. I don't, I don't really regret it. I'm not completely happy with it, but... I think it looks good, so come on, let's go on a tour. First of all, you guys were sitting up there on the shelf, and check it out. I finally organized my closet. Oh, like guys, this alone feels incredible. I have all my cables down here now from HDMI to legacy cables like um, 30 pin and VGA, micro USB, USB-C, USB, uh, mini USB, blah, 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 you know? Guys, I got cables on top of cables on top of cables. Over here, a bunch of power adapters and power cables. Longer HDMI cables that I couldn't fit in here because this is getting quickly filled up. Got some products over there that I still need to unbox. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, one of those I need to unbox. Hold on, let's get some better lighting in here. Hey, yeah, that's better, right? Much better. And I have things organized in categories. I have camera stuff over here, like tripods. Sorry, this shadow sucks. Uh, guys, this lighting is definitely temporary. Um, I have a really, really cool lamp coming. I think tomorrow it's coming. It's going to go over there. It's RGB, and it's going to look beautiful. And if I like it enough, then I'll order a second one, put it over here. And that one lamp alone was like $105, $106, so definitely not cheap. So that's why I wanted one, just to see if I like it. But more on that later. Anyway, we got some categories over here. We got camera tripods. Some old gear that I likely won't use anytime soon, but it's nice knowing it's here. For instance, I got two cable modems there, watch on digital hard drive, security camera canary. These I never opened. I don't even know where they came from. Um, maybe a viewer sent them, I, I forget, or they were sponsored. I don't know, I have a lot of products, so it's easy to lose track. Got an extra magic mouse, hard drive, another security cam. Uh, down here we have some things I still need to open from Christmas time. And some stuff over here from Christmas, and over here from Christmas, and over here just old stuff I never opened. Uh, some camera batteries, chargers, got an old Echo Dot. This is one of those um, power hub thingies that you can put on your desk. Extra keyboards. I actually have more keyboards than that, I just gotta find them and put them in here. Um, and an extra computer over there, which is powered via HDMI, not powered, but you know what I mean. Like, it's one of those mini PCs that you plug in via HDMI and a power source. And up here we have an old monitor, a bunch of random stuff in here that I'll likely not need anytime soon. I do have some Defranca Media signs from when I used to rent that office space. I will find a home for them eventually. Got some paper. Look at that tone difference. Isn't that fascinating? I don't know, I just think that's so interesting. Got an extra printer. Um, Mr. Rogers' pop figure, which I never opened, but I, I will open eventually. Some magazines. And then blah, blah, blah. I mean, guys, it's so organized now. Oh, and over here, I have my ring light and an extra notebook um, bag. So very cool. Like, I'm really, really surprised at how well that came together. And I'm not even done. Because I have some things I want to put away. These shelves I'm going to minimize. This printer is going to go in the office. I mean, uh, sorry, basement. This shelf I actually planned on taking out of here. And these shelves I actually plan on taking out of here. But in my opinion, they actually look good against black. And I'm really, really happy. Let's, let's turn this light off. Again, do not get used to seeing this because this is temporary. I'm very, very pleased at how good the TV looks against the wall. Now keep in mind, what you're seeing on camera is actually brighter than what I'm seeing because this camera's trying to compensate for low light performance. But still, I mean, that kind of gives you a good idea of what I say, sort of, sort of. And over here, I gotta say, look at that. The monitor and the speaker is kind of blending with the wall. That is so cool. Of course, all of this is not staying, like this drone and this toy or whatever. Um, all that stuff, oh, I mean, some of it will go over here. And I do have some lights that I want to order for these shelves as well. And all that blue you see is obviously temporary. That's painter's tape, which I will be taking off probably tomorrow. I don't really feel like doing it today because I have some work to do on the computer. 
And speaking of computer, my Mac Pro is not even connected right now. Hence all the cables just sitting down there. So I'll get that set up and I have to do some work um, for tomorrow's YouTube stream. Yes, I want to design a thumbnail because YouTube handles stream thumbnails much differently than Twitch does. Um, so I just want to make sure I make something good, you know, something clean and basically something that catches attention. Look at this contrast. Very nice. I have my subwoofer over there, which I will be cleaning. It's a little dusty up top. Um, and there's a good chance I'll be ordering a large fake plant to put maybe in that corner and put the subwoofer under the desk. I don't know. I don't know. Or put the plant right here because this camera and this light. God, look, look how well the ca Guys, look how good that looks. That actually looks professional. The camera against the black background. <laughs> that makes me happy because I gotta admit, I had my doubts because this is supposed to be dark gray, but it ended up being like pure black. You can see a strip right there. There, there, are, there are certain parts of the wall that didn't take paint as well as it should have. But of course I can always fix that because I ended up only using one gallon of paint guys, one gallon. And I have an entire gallon right here, unopened. And of course I have some extra in the first can. So I'm quite pleased with this. <sighs> and of course I'm just getting started, so please don't feel the need to judge this just yet, because I know I know this is a drastic change. And guys, I cannot express this enough. It looks better in person, because again, this, this camera is trying to compensate for low light. So it's actually making the walls brighter than they actually are. Like, you see how bright it is right there? It's not that bright in person, it's not. It actually, it actually looks a lot better for me. And yes, I still need to take down the Christmas stuff in the bathroom, which is not a priority. This will be coming down. This I purposely painted over, I don't care, because I'm gonna be getting new plates, um, probably for that one. Maybe new plates for, yeah, yeah, see this one I painted over on purpose too. The uh, outlet right there. So, and over there as well. But yeah, this is a great start, a fantastic start. And I'm happy to say these will be staying here for now. Yes, they will be because I, I, I don't expect this to look that good because originally these cubes were going to go right here and they were right there for a little while, but I thought it was a little too much contrast. And then I was thinking, wait a minute, why not put it in my closet? And man, I'm happy to say that worked out so nicely. So the next major step, and I talked about this in the Payton's Only vlog, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. My next project is to paint this room a dark gray. Something much lighter than this, but still quite dark to the point where it looks professional. And if I like that enough, then I might paint this room again with the same color I use in here. But for now, I gotta say, this black actually looks better than I thought it would. So I'm going to stick with it for a little while and see how it goes. You also have to keep in mind, when using black walls, if you throw some accent lighting into the room, it really, really brings everything together. For instance, I'm going to get some kind of antique looking light. Okay, not, not antique, but like an antique color, like a yellow goldish um, hue, you know? And put it over here, because I, I have a really cool light coming tomorrow for my bedroom, because I'm going to start to redo that bedroom as well. I mean, that room as well. Not paint it, that's way, way too much work and I like I like the idea of a white bedroom. But uh, yeah, I have this LED RGB light that goes on your nightstand with built-in USB ports. So finally, my Apple Watch charger will be upstairs, which I'm excited about. Because I always forget to charge it. Sometimes I'm like, I don't feel like going back downstairs to put it on the dock, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's a really modern looking lamp where it's hollowed out. It's, it's like one of those Dyson bladeless fans. Uh, but obviously much cheaper and it's not a fan, it's a light. But it's got the built-in USB ports. I have some motion activated LEDs that will go under my bed. So for like late at night when I'm walking into my room, because sometimes I have to turn the light on on, on my phone or in the hallway to see where I'm going. Or even just the light in my bedroom, which is overkill. Overkill. But late at night, it would be really nice to walk into my bedroom, right? Because you know me, I'm always up late. Yeah, I walk in and the motion activated lights automatically trigger under my bed, lighting up my room just enough for me to find where I'm going in. I, th I think I think it'll look really cool. So yeah, if I like that first lamp I talked about enough, then I'm gonna get possibly a second one for in here, maybe even a third one for in here. Actually, no, I found the perfect floor lamp for in here. It's like $100, but 
but it's a very slim lamp. You put it in the corner, you face it towards the wall so it's not overbearing. And it lights up just enough and it will look fantastic for um, video backgrounds. Anyway, going back to that Dyson-like lamp, if I like it enough, I'll buy a third one and put it here and replace this. I like the simplicity of this lamp, but I'm all for getting an RGB light Easy. because I could set it to this tone if I wanted to or set it to something blue, green, red, orange, whatever. So yeah, lots of house changes coming, guys. And I'll say it again, my, my next big project is to paint this room, which honestly is not that hard because there's, there's like nothing in here. It's like nothing on the walls. There's not really that many obstacles. All this stuff I can just put in the center of the room. So stay tuned. This room's gonna be cool. It's gonna be my new recording room because I definitely wanna start making more videos, but I don't like the idea of recording where I work, if that makes sense. I don't like the idea of having to set up my camera and my lighting every single time. From now on, I literally just wanna go in there, turn the camera on, turn the light on, sit my booty down and talk. I don't want it to set up lighting every single time because for me, that's frustrating. That takes me out of the creative mood, you know? I just wanna do this, I just wanna talk. I just wanna talk, I don't wanna set up process. So I think that would um, help a lot. Anyway guys, it's almost five o'clock. I started this vlog very, very late today. Gotta be honest, the weekend vlogs just aren't a top priority for me lately. I've just been so focused on other things. Plus I was up till 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning working on things. Um, so I wanted to give myself a little mental break. But yeah, so I'm gonna get this macro up and running and get some YouTube work done alongside a cup of coffee. So let's make it a good weekend. Also, we have fireworks at Strasburg Pizza tomorrow night. That's like their big annual um, event where they literally have hundreds of people come out. They sell so many pizzas. And because of COVID, uh, I think we're gonna eat outside on the grass, kind of like picnic style. So it should be fun. I agree, coffee, let's go. Hey Maui, how you doing dude? And check it out guys, I bought five shares of Apple stock this week, five shares, and today alone I made over $100. Plus we have the upcoming four-way split for Apple, which is what really, really motivated me. What's up Z? I love this cat. Hi Zero. How are you? Oh, you're a good boy. You coming in? Come on. Zero, please throw that plate away. Eating outside or eating inside? It's up to you. Now you want to eat out? Hi. So food? Here you go. Good oh boy. Enjoy. Be safe. All right, I'm gonna have my coffee and get some work done on the Mac Pro. It's gonna be really nice to work in the office more. It's gonna be really, really nice. It's just about creating that professional environment around you where you're excited to work. I mean, look at this. Again, it's so simple, like black against black, black against black. It looks so good. Like it just blends in nicely. And of course it's gonna look better as I put things on the walls, which I'm not usually a huge fan of. I like naked walls, but this one I will definitely be um, improving. Hi Maui. 602 guys. All right, I think I have the thumbnail ready to go for tomorrow night. It's not exactly pretty to look at. I could do a lot better. But again, I just want to get people's attention and be like, hey, David's live. There is my logo that you should recognize by now. And I put now streaming in that typical large red dot with a thick red border with a little bit of black inner border just to give it balance. So yeah, I think that should stand out. Wow, it looks so much better in person. My logo looks orange. I'm telling you, these cameras do so much software processing to really bring out the values when going against black. Look at that, like it, it really blows it out, but it is what it is. You'll just have to take my word for it. Or just watch me live, you know? And I did indeed work on this for a little bit. Very cool. Not final, but it's definitely a lot cleaner than it was before. I love it, guys. Like, I'm actually quite happy 
with the walls. What a nice surprise, because I gotta be honest, I was a little scared at first. I was definitely a little scared. And the light I was talking about for my bedroom just shipped. So I will link it right below if you're curious. And of course, I'm gonna give you guys a first look at my lamp coming tomorrow for, for the office. So, not to mix it up. Yeah, I have a lamp for my office. I have a lamp for my bedroom and I have those motion activated LEDs for my bedroom. I'm just in the mood to improve the overall look of my house lately. So here's the light I have coming from my bedroom. Arriving tomorrow by 9 p.m., which means it'll be here by like two or three o'clock. Only $25. Can't believe this thing was only $25 and it has a USB-A and USB-C uh, charging built in. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's so futuristic looking. Look, even, even for like living rooms, I think it could look quite nice. USB chargers, like it's, it looks really good. And here is the light I ordered for my living room. Okay, so this is the one that cost me $100. So I'm not, I'm not saying no run out and buy this, but I, w I will link it right below. 52 inches tall, $105. Look at that. That's not the best picture. There you go. Not bad. And we do have some customer photos, which I'll bring up because they're often better looking than Amazon's official photos. Because let's let's be honest, those official photos are always so heavily edited. Um, <laughs> stop it. Customer reviews always way at the bottom, right? Way at the bottom. Okay, this was not bad. They went for like a blue hue on that one. Anyway, stay tuned. You guys won't need to see pictures because obviously I'll show you in the vlog. I'll see you guys at the pretzel's house. It's so dark. What's up, mom? We're walking. How you doing? How you doing? We just ordered Red Lobster. Anyway, <laughs> um, mom got three shrimp trios for herself. Nope. Just Caesar kidding. Caesar salad with grilled shrimp. Caesar salad with grilled shrimp. No, I thought you said no, gold shrimp. No shavings. What's that mean? The cheese to grate it. Oh no, Parmesan cheese. Ugh. Who it, says no shavings? That's what it's called, shaved cheese. Why, why, why don't you talk like a normal human being? <laughs> I got the New Orleans salmon. Never had that before with rice and... Is that called talking to you about that? Mashed potatoes. Oh, I don't know. What no, is this car made out of? I think, I think she was talking to him. You see that truck? If she was talking to me, then I rudely ignored her. This is the house with all five cats, I think. Look all the yeah. people at Speckled Hen. I know. And I think I Dad know. got the same thing. Salmon, but with green beans and mashed potatoes. Baked potato. Baked potato. We did get an appetizer, it mozzarella sticks. I'm only going to have one or two. They're, like, they're, they're, they're not huge. It was free. Yeah. It, it, is, it, is, it is what it is, you know? And I'm, I'm not cheating on my diet because I'm not on a diet. I just cut back in certain areas. Look at all those cats. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. It's like a I think there's a thing. sixth one back there. I just saw something walking back. What's he looking at, the white one? Maybe it's like a roly poly. He's just chilling. Looking at bugs. All right. Let's go to the cat house. Hurry, there's an Amish thing coming. And this car. He's little. Which I almost got rolled by. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna vlog it. Yeah. Alright guys, this is the cat house that we always show in the Pigeons Only vlog. There are a lot of cats there. Oh, we're in a weekend vlog, aren't we? Yeah, are we Are we gonna make it down to that house? I hope. Because I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna show the orange Garfield cat. Did we walk fast enough? Beautiful cat, guys. Beautiful. Very, very fluffy tail too. Like, the longest, bushiest tail I've seen. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> What's he saying? You wanna smoke a cigar? It's tobacco. Oh, it's tobacco? Yeah. It's tobacco. That's pretty cool. That's, that's that's really cool. Last time I had a cigar was when Danny was over. Last time I had a cigar was at Gail's party, remember? I, I actually I actually have one too. The meat there we go. One, two, three, I think four, four maybe. Same. Oh, that cat's with his buddies. That's him laying down, isn't it? I don't know. He's not here. Next time I have a cigar, it's gonna be just celebrate. Hopefully, tobacco? hopefully when my pharmaceuticals stock bounces back because I currently have like a $700 loss with them but it'll bounce back you know it always does 
But man, Apple today, I made like $120. Or tobacco. I like it. Well, no, I don't like tobacco. I'm not, I'm not saying go out there and smoke one up, you know, because I'm against cigarettes. That's it. Come on, people. Trim your bush. And walk out yeah, guys, look at this. Here we go. Ready? Jesus, and you're throwing it in my face. <laughs> Every time you do that. Please trim that. I'm sorry. Do I annoy you? No, but it went in my face each time. Literally bushwhacked. What's that down there? A building. Oh, it's a horse and little It is. Town has buildings, Mom. There's the cat, guys. You see him right there? He is so friendly. I see bubbles. Yet so stubborn. Who's calling bubbles? Yeah. Where did that bubble come from? <laughs> you guys, this is a bomb. Inactive, of course. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that cool? It says it right on it. Yeah, where does it actually say? Something bomb. World War II or World War II? I don't know. World War II, bomb. Come on, Key. Why doesn't you want to come over today? Hit the deck. Oh God, he's coming to hit the bomb. <laughs> come on. Time to eat? You want a treat? You want a treat? He looked. I'm just trying to figure out what his owners say. Time to eat? You want, you want a pickle? Time to eat. You want a chocolate chip cookie? You want a chicken? I don't, I don't know what the trigger phrase is. You want a chicken? You want a chicken? Come here. You want some fish? Crab? Shrimp? Lobster? Salmon? What do, what do cats eat? <gasps> Come on. This way. No, 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 no. He's like, you're annoying me. He just left us. <laughs> I swear, guys. He's very, very friendly. Yeah, and I've, I've actually carried him all the way, yeah, all, all the way down this parking lot because he tried to follow us home all the way here and he didn't put up a struggle at all. Like, super friendly cat, but stubborn at the same time. So, it is what it is. Until next time, probably Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, really Race you. <clears throat> Go. I win. This doesn't run. Sunflowers. Okay. I think I'm going to plant sunflowers next year. Look. Sunflowers? Do it. Okay, so we found the tobacco source. Yep. That's a huge source to keep track of. Literally down the street it's from your right house. down the road from us. So if there's tobacco sources, there has to be a weed source. We gotta find like some kind of hidden marijuana farm. Probably has it wedged, you know what they probably do? Wedged in between all the tobacco. First of all, the Amish are famous for growing oh, yeah. weed, aren't they? It's probably in their cornfields. I was gonna say, what they do is put it in the middle of cornfields because you're not gonna be able to see it from the street. Unless you take like a plane or something overhead. There's a fire pit. That is so cool to think about. <laughs> oh, Blink is peeing! Oh, go <laughs> 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 That cat looks just like Blinks, guys, it's and house. we think it's Blinks' brother or sister because they're small, black and white, like, I mean, they're fully grown, but they're still tiny. Look, he's burning it. Go key. Anyway, guys, random note. He's burning his pee, pee My office has inspired me to spruce up my whole house. Oh, look at that thing turning. It's cute. So I'm going to get the outside of my house painted black. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want to see if you're listening. Yeah, that'd be, white with black trim. That'd be hard. No, I'm not doing out. No, That's my a great farmhouse. No, my house looks great on the outside. I think it looks great. So. Oh, that still has every newspaper. I want to. Hold this. <laughs> I'm tired of these bikers. Seriously, take the bypass. They're so loud. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, baby. Here we go. So I'm going to start sprucing up each room. More tobacco. A lot of it this time. Jeez. That is a lot of tobacco. So I want to put some accent lighting in my kitchen. Like, you know where my toaster is on the right side of that? Yeah. I want to put some kind of soft light to bounce off the walls. Okay. Just, just, just to give the room some accent, you know? Like a lamp or something? Yeah, like, like a, but something modern, like let's eat. Some kind of like neon looking Ooh. sign. So. That's. Fun. Stay tuned for updates, guys. We Hi. made it back alive. Hi, Dad. Hello. Oh, God, you're really smiling. Are you okay? <laughs>
Good walk. Thanks for joining us. We saw so much tobacco. Yeah, tobacco. That's hanging it out. And he told us. He's so like, you want, want a cigar? cigar? Oh, man. I would love to have a cigar right now. You know, I have one at home still. Right down the road, the tobacco field. Yeah, we yeah. found the source. Oh, cool. We found a next ton of tobacco. Dave, do you inhale a cigar? No, you don't. I had one on my deck. Only a real man says it helps. I have another one that I gotta get through. Where's the food, Dad? Why well, is Hunter in house? Oh, I let him in. Did it, did it ship yet? I don't know why. Actually, it's kind of nice. He's gonna. What's your, what's your pattern it's thingy? Not, no, L. Small L. Small well, big L. You shouldn't have said that. Not a full L. Down, all the way down in the middle. Oh, there it is. L for loser? Who was that person that stopped? Is, is, that, is that really them? Who was yeah. that person that stopped? Is it, is it really that fast? Yeah. Yeah, Red Lobster, slow down. Is that definitely? Cool? Yeah. Impressive. Red Lobster to go, baby. You gotta love it. It's That's time nice. to feast. Too. That was very fast. Mom, thank you very much. Perfect timing. We just got back. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hey, Dad. Look at that sexy man. Thank you for this, Dad. I know it's not cheap. What was it, $20? At least. Not even close. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Honestly, I probably would have had this like a few weeks ago because I was so serious about my eating choices. But as long as you eat in moderation, my, I, I still look thinner. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to blow up overnight. I'm going to put butter on Dad's potato for him. Mmm. I'm not even a big biscuit person, but those are good. Because I love him. Because I love him. Because mm -hmm. I love him. Wait. Oh, you want butter too for your mash? Do you want butter for your mash? Not too much. Please. Who's a fan, guys? Comment right below. Look at that, that guys. Over there, honey. Very nice. Oh, that looks so good. And add green beans and mashed potatoes. Thank well, you guys again. First taste salmon. I've never I'm had like salmon just, at Red Lobster. I might just have four sticks. Oh, First we of need all, paper shrimp. Too. We were desperately low. I mm. need to go to Walmart to get needles sometimes. Their shrimp never disappoints. Come on, four. Okay. Can I have maybe four Oh, that's my potato? Mm. We're done. Me and David are done. Wait, I got the baked potato. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get rice, I got green beans. Oh, well, they mixed it up. First taste salmon, guys. Rice. From. <laughs> I have a go peas, Mama. Red Here. lobster. Hey, did you get rice and green potato? No. What did you get? I mean mashed potatoes and rice? Rice and mashed potatoes, yeah. yeah I mean, they just confused them. Mmm. Okay. Dab. Yeah, I put your sauce on there. That's good. Good salmon. I'll leave a couple of green beans for you, David. Thank you. I'm impressed. What? Whatever, dude. I know. What the hell? I'm listening in. Doesn't that camera like go all over the, the dash when you're driving? Yep, it's, that's what we do. It's against my uh, wallet, which helps. All right, come on. See you, Dad. Come on in. Love I love this car. I bought it. I love this so much. I, I bought, love I bought it this twice. Car. Listen, listen. It's your brakes, David. How many miles in this car? Something like a tugboat. How many miles? Did they replace the brakes? 70,808. Did they replace the brakes at one time? My brake pads, two years ago? Oh, good. I, I had to. You're They're fine. like, we can't let you leave. You're coming up for a timing chain. I know. A Peace. Belt, whatever it is. Yeah, belt. It's a timing belt. Coffee, right? 24 ounce? Extra caffeinated. <laughs> David, I got you a comforter. Does that know the umbrella's still on? Yeah. It's lightweight and it's washable. Thank you. You know the you know what though? There was a deal on Amazon. Wait, so you bought me a new comforter? Yes. Thank you. Mom is proof of not only a loving mother, but also proof that that's something I would never buy myself. Exactly. That's why I got it. I I've just, seen your comforter, it's gross. I don't it is it's got yellow Because you can't really wash it. It's got it. yellow and brown marks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not poo. Soy sauce, probably. Who eats soy sauce in bed? You don't need an egg roll in bed. Who eats in the shower? You. My so viewers. It's not far fetched that you. My eat viewers in bed. do. Thank you so much, guys. We've had people say they eat cereal in the shower, chicken nuggets, which is my favorite. Oh, is Sam there? Yeah, there beep, he is. Beep at him. 
No, there's people right there at the creamery. Why do you think I'm a creep? I love this bar. Eat that ice cream. You gonna get a ticket. And I'm gonna laugh my Never. ass off. Never got a ticket say. in my life. Just changed your I have, I've been pulled over like three or four times. Each, each time I, I talk my way out of it. I've been it's pulled not that over. hard to convince people. It's not that hard. I've been pulled over four times and got a ticket once. And once was when you were playing Christmas music. Yes. During and like. Cock on the back of my car. It was like July. Oh, we put. You and Anthony. Oh, we drew a giant penis in yeah. the back of your car. That's amazing. <laughs> Did we you say Anthony called you freaking out? We were so Dude, immature. Did we have three cars? We were so immature Wait, back then. Wait, did we have three cars? Oh, I forget. I don't know. I remember Anthony was freaking out. Well, the police just got pulled over. Guys, don't fall. It was Woodbury. The stupid light went from yellow to red like that. I fought it too. I, didn't, I only had to pay something. I forget. I got it knocked down. Do you feel the cool air? Yeah. It's getting better, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. This, this camera's actually great at low light. Unlike my DJI. <laughs> Stop, Mom! I can't help it. Somebody's dad said I love this car. And it now it makes you think I love the bar. We'll be here tomorrow night for fireworks. Your car looks like it has a strobe light. Are, are we walking here or driving? I hope walking. Walking. It, we, we can go down this back path, right? Yeah. So, let's go. Fireworks ahead. tomorrow night, guys. Shazerk Pizza will not be selling pizza, though. That's kind of weird. Oh, shoot. I thought I heard it was supposed to rain tomorrow night. Is it? Uh oh. Ask yeah, Siri. Will it rain tomorrow night? Hold on, it's in that stupid car mode. It's not stupid, I'm sorry. Here we go. Will it rain tomorrow night? Sorry, but I, why, oh, cause it's going, oh, cause I have my volume Daily down. Forecast, though. I can only check hourly forecast for the next 24 hours. I literally said, will it rain tomorrow night? I didn't ask for an hourly forecast. <laughs> Uh, Apple, sure listen, Apple. Weren't you just valued at two trillion dollars recently? I think two trillion, with a T, as in titty. Dude, Google's better than Siri. First of all, hey you're, Google, you're not wrong. It's Google Assistant, not the most trendy name. Better than Bixby though. Who makes Bixby? Um, I know this. Oh, really? I was, I was going to say, no, nobody talked about Bixby. No, I haven't heard. Um, I Figure know. it out while I go get the mail. Who says Bixby? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's still, it rhymes with band bung. Samsung. <laughs> oh, that's right. Cause dad... <laughs> but Dad says, hey, Google on his phone. Dang. We got a drug deal going down. Just kidding. Hi. Oh, I'm tired, but I'm staying up tonight in my carriage house. My carriage house is a mess again. Guys, when you're a crafter, you clean stuff, you organize, and a week later it's a mess. It's not that it's a mess. I've been making a lot of trips to Dollar Tree lately. Dollar Tree is a big place where crafters go because obviously everything's a dollar. And you, you'd be surprised what you can make with Dollar Tree stuff crafting. I'm obsessed with watching craft videos. I watch them all day and all night long. Ooh, David got a letter. In a letter. There's a big sign in there now. You said you'd never leave me. There's a, there's a big sign in there now saying um, masks are mandatory. Damn. I don't go in at night with one because there's no need. It's just me. What's going on here, by the way? You see this? Dark deal. Shout out to Andrew Lee for the letter. Aww. California. Nice. I'm gonna read it real quick, okay? Yeah. Is that fine? What if it's really, what a tough envelope. Really tough envelope. That adhesive was strong. Thank you, Andrew. I love this part. Just wanna make sure I'm not throwing anything away. You never know. People might include stickers or something. God, it's a long one. Oh, nah. Nice. Pretty cool. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Getting a good old fashioned letter in the mail. I like that. And guys, I just. Send me a letter. I just, I just took my. Yeah. We'll send it to David's PO box. But you have help. to address it to me. It right. has to be to David DeFranco. What was that? 
And then when he opens yeah. it, it can say to Wawa Mama, and he'll give it to me. Hi, David. I'm glad you're working out how you want to do it. I might recommend getting some dry fit shirts to work out and because they're more comfortable to work out in to keep you dry so you can work out longer. I agree. I, I, I usually work out like my khaki shorts, yeah. which are heavy and thick. <laughs> don't but you have a pair of basketball shorts? I, I actually do, yeah. yeah. Those are perfect. I, I don't get too picky about that, though, honestly. I'm not hardcore about it. By the way, my 30-day challenge... Complete. Oh, nice. And I just want to give it a, every day for 30 days. 30 days straight. Yeah. Good job. So I'm I'm done the game for now because honestly, it gets it gets repetitive after a while. It's like the same thing. It, it, it gets a little interesting. Oh, uh, they're they're taking pictures of the front. Oh, there's damage on that car. I think. I don't know what they just did. Anyway, um, so that's done. I'm gonna get back into the game in a few weeks, hopefully, because I found out the game has over 20 worlds in it. Maybe they hit that car leaving. Maybe. Over 20 worlds. That's and insane. I'm only on world 12. That's crazy. So it would, it would easily take another month to get through. But the game is great. And I do, I do want to give a very special shout out to a loser out there. I, don't, I, I try not to focus on people like this, but I'm going to say this for a reason. Uh, um, a couple weeks ago, I had a hater coming to my Twitch chat. One of those losers on a Saturday night who has too much time on I their hands and makes multiple accounts every time I ban him. I don't get it. I, I don't understand it either, but that's beside the point. That's on you, not me. It's probably the same so, we had an issue with. Eventually, and the chat room didn't see this because I have mod tools set up so I can approve or reject certain me messages. Basically, he um, came forward and said, David, I just want you to know that you're going to fail the 30-day challenge. I just want you to know that. And I didn't fail. <laughs> so... That's you're a exactly loser. Says that. You're a waste of space, a waste of resources. Seriously. And um, I'm saying this for a reason. Not to focus on him, but I challenge myself to not be like you. Exactly. I don't want to end up a loser like you. If you disappeared tomorrow, the world probably wouldn't even bat an eye. <laughs> harsh? That's harsh. It, it, it's it's, a, tr it's a truth. It's a way to say something like that. It's a truth. So We live in such a world mm -hmm. of hate sometimes. I don't get it. So I proved you wrong. Is it that hard to be nice? It really is not that hard to be nice. It's not or hard. You know at what? All. If you don't want to be nice, how about say nothing at all? If you have a problem being nice, also if this just don't person, say anything. Also, if this person doesn't like me, why is he following you? Why does he even know details about my challenge? Which right. means he's watching the vlogs. I hear this all the time on crafters. It's so weird. Crafters get hate, and they tell them all the time. No, if but, you don't like my style, why are you watching me? Exactly. I, I don't mind the hate. I actually find it funny because it's a it's a it's a form of inspiration and motivation. It's a form of flattery for me. too because it's usually it they're makes jealous. me it makes me try harder. And usually they're jealous. But it's not only that. Like, why are you watching? Yeah. Like you're giving me your time and literally your money. I'm ge I'm getting paid every time someone watches my videos. So I don't know. I, I just think it's weird. It is very. So weird. I'm I'm not saying this to focus on the haters because I try not to do that much these days. I'm just saying like if anyone out there has people trying to put them down, use them as motivation to not be like them exactly. when you're older. Because I, I always say, like, I don't want to look back 10 years wishing I could have done kid? better. A problem. I, hopefully. Yeah. And, and 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 if he's a grown adult in his 20s, that's, like that, that's, that's pathetic. very, very sad. Hopefully he's a kid. That's pathetic. Because I understand, kids, kids do stupid things. I was there. Oh, yeah. You did stupid things. <clears throat> like steal a traffic turtle. We're not even talking about the internet. <clears throat> this this was this is before the internet blew up. I, I used to get in trouble with the cops and everything for vandalize not vandalizing, but on the Beckett sign. Wow, you did? Actually, no. The cops didn't care. It's the Beckett, the Association, Beckett Association that cares. She's like, you can't do that. Da, 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 da. What did you do to it? We we put a hammock in the trees above That's the Beckett not sign. Vandalizing now. And we 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 put those. Oh God, don't hit these people. We we put those um, gumdrops candy on the branches to make it look like Christmas lights. So what? <laughs> people That's not. Be careful. I don't know where those kids went. Where are they? You gotta call the fire signs. Is it clear? Oh, yeah, I think so. Very good. Oh, they're going to the fire sign. Nice. That's cute. Oh, well, that's fun. They're walking to the rock shop. God, I love living here. It, it is a it is a really nice area. It's so cool. So many things you can walk to. We well, didn't walk to anywhere in Heatherton. <laughs> Except the other you, houses. You couldn't. I know. <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, yeah. We're, we're, we're very fortunate. Yeah, and I'm very proud of you for your mature attitude in that. What? That 
kid, saying you're using him as inspiration not oh, yeah, to yeah. like him or that person. I, I've, I've always been and like, like that. And like you said, I hope he's a kid because if it's an adult, it's so. sad and pathetic. I, I try to not be like people like that when I'm older. That's my, that's my, that's okay. my ultimate motivation. I just want to be happy in life. Do you think they... They got... Oh, dang. Rammed. Oh, is that the car over there? Oh, I think so. No, we would have seen that. Fun fact, I almost hit an employee <laughs> here a couple weeks ago. An employee we like, but yeah. she, she doesn't know it's us. So, <laughs> David came flying around the corner, and she just walked out in front of us. It wasn't that close. I was just being dumb. Well, she wasn't watching where she was going, and you were yeah. turning that corner a little you get, fast. You gonna watch where you're going? I got the right away, buddy. All right, low battery, guys. I'll see you at home. You Bye. see it? The symbol? And I'm home. I don't usually drink bottled water nowadays, at least bottled water that I buy. But I, I just wanted a big old water for tonight's stream. And yeah, I usually have water in my own bottle, which is right there. Shout out to Gina Christine for the Nintendo New York bottle. I love it. I use it all the time. So between the smart water, which I think is a liter, and that bottle back there, I'm going to be well hydrated tonight, y'all. With, of course, plenty of coffee. Come on, you got, you got to balance out the hydration with that dehydration. Seriously, though. Good time to with the family. Excellent dinner, my god. Red lobster, salmon, whew. It's my first time trying it, I believe, and man, was it good. Really, really good. Good times today. And I'll see you guys after the stream. It's probably gonna be like six in the morning. By the way, that's, that's the corner I was talking about when I said I wanna introduce some accent lighting. Tanya, I have plans, I have plans. Oh, come here. I do have an extra outlet up here. So I definitely want to do something with this. This is actually what I wanted to do in my last house, but the cabinets were part of the ceiling, unfortunately. But in this house, they are not. Um, so I want to put like LEDs up there and I could drill a hole up here to feed the uh, power cable down. So we'll see. I just, I, just, I just want to bring some character into this house, you know? I mean, there's obviously character, but I just want more lights and more decorations and all that stuff. And it's my office is what inspired me. I love opening this door and not seeing white walls now. Like everything just blends in. Look at that. That's crazy. Man, what a difference. Okay, for real. God, you guys talk a lot. I'll see you later today. Well, no, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tom yeah, tomorrow. What time is it? It's 4.24 p.m. 4.24 p.m., guys. My God. Got some packages. Pretty excited about all this stuff that I talked about yesterday. Good lord. Vansky LED digital bed lighting. I don't know why they capitalized everything else but the word lighting. It's kind of weird. I just always find it fun <laughs> to critique. See, look. Easy setup. No tools required. Oh my god. Essay setup. Holy shit, that's embarrassing. Essay setup. Capital N. No uh, comma, low energy, thoughtful lighting, a warm, soft glow of light where you need it, when you need it, with no disturbing light awake others and no fumbling to find the light switch in the dark. Okay, that's not too bad. Feeling safe at night, as your foot touches the floor, the room is softly illuminated to guide you gently and safely through the room. Getting up at night becomes effortless with light designed to turn on and off when you need it. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad. Hold on, this one has to have something. When stepping out of bed at night, a warm light will turn on to guide you safely across. This essentially says what these two say. The soft illumination will then automatically turn off when no I'm not, I'm not dissing the product. I just always find it funny to um, find errors like that. Anyway, this should be really cool, guys. Motion lights for under my bed. Just to, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even need lights in there. I'm just trying to put some character in each room in my house. And speaking of that, this is the light I was telling you about. Kazoo, Kazoo? It got excellent ratings. It just looks so cool. I'm not gonna set it up today because it's so damn late. Like, it's really, really late. And here's the lamp that I've been so excited about for my office. It's gonna be cool. They, they shipped it directly, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna show the shipping label up close. But there's, there's the lamp. Pretty cool, right? It is RGB, so I can, um, Change the colors. Hopefully this is the RGB one. I chose 52 plus. 
Too smart LED, okay, SF10 RGB, good. Because they do have a version that does not change colors, but why would you want that? I'm excited, I'm excited. There's a good chance I might not do all this until tomorrow because I'm actually leaving here within two hours to go to mom and dad's house. Today is that big uh, fireworks event that I think I mentioned yesterday. Basically, um, Shazwick Pizza, out of their pocket, puts on a show for the town. Which I think is great. That's that's really, really cool of them. Um, so it's going to include food, fireworks show, all that typical uh, outside, like carnival-like stuff, which is cool. I don't know if I'm going to eat at Shazwick Pizza because Rudder's is conveniently right across the street. So I might go to Rudder's, get a hot dog or two, bring it back, and just eat in the field. So we'll see. Either way, it's going to be a good day, baby. It's going to be a good short day. And by the way, oh my god, what a great stream last night. It started with some... Anger coming from me. Oh my god, I was so angry. There's nothing worse than streaming and finding out your bitrate is just terrible, even though your upload speed is perfectly fine. Um, but after much frustration and much <laughs> turning it on and turning it off again with OBS, I reset my modem and router and everything was fine. God, that's frustrating. Hopefully it doesn't happen tonight because I am going live on YouTube, which I'm very, very excited about. Look at Burger King constantly tempting me with food. Dudes, stop. Please. All right, so I took down the painter's tape. That's a lot of tape. And <laughs> I stole some over here. Now there are some spots where the paint came up right there. And I got a little bit of paint on the ceiling there, there, right there, 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 there. Honestly though, it's nothing too bad. So instead of using the paint I already have for white and black, I'm not going to go through the process of opening some cans and just using that paint because they're gallon cans and now it's not worth it. Um, I'd rather save those cans for future projects. So instead I'm going to go on Amazon, um, maybe today or tomorrow, it's honestly not a priority, and order like little touch-up jars of paint because it's just a white ceiling and it's just black walls. So I imagine they're pretty easy to find on Amazon. It's not like they're unique colors, but I gotta, guys, but I gotta freaking say, look at this, like, look how well that blends. It, it's really good. Anyway, um, I watched Defending Jacob. Shout out to my dude, Brennan. What the, f huh? Get it off, mommy. Life is scary sometimes. But yeah, shout out to Brennan. For weeks now, he's been saying, now David, you gotta check out Defending Jacob. And I'm always like, all right, all right, I'll check it out, dude. I'll check it out. Calm your boobies, you know? So I finally checked it out. It was damn good. It was damn good. And I'm excited to um, watch more tonight if I have time. And if not tonight, then definitely tomorrow. Okay, I need to leave soon for the fireworks show. I mean, thankfully, it's not dark yet. But I do want to get there with enough time to spare where I can just chill and whatever and go to Rudders. In the meantime, however, I'm going to try to set this lamp up real quick. It does come with two RGB bulbs. Very cool. Remote control. And of course all the hardware. So let's get this set up. And as I said, I'm gonna put it right here. And if I like it enough, then there's a good chance I might order another one tonight. And plus, I just got paid by YouTube yesterday, so the timing is excellent. All right, it's already 7.10, guys. I gotta go. A quick preview of the lights. You can kinda of see a preview, look at that. It actually does a gradient effect. Not bad, right? Man, I'll say it for like a fifth time. Do you see that reflection? It's like a mirror on camera, but man, I, I swear it does not look like that in person. It's more of a, um, what's the word? Frosted glass effect. Whereas with the, with, with the, with the camera, it's picking up so much more detail on the wall. But yeah, not bad. It's got a little more visual weight than I prefer over here. I think I want a lamp shorter than these shelves. So I think I'll keep shopping and this one might go in my bedroom. So it's not a waste, no regrets. And plus, as I mentioned, I def, God, look at this. Yo, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with these black walls. Look at the contrast of my face to the black to the light. Like, it looks really good, doesn't it? Like, it looks really good. And of course, shout out to my friend Jess. Um, she said on, I think, Twitter? Very bold choice in going black. Now, to be honest, I didn't mean to go black. I meant to go dark gray. But I think it's working out. I mean, you can barely see my speakers, which is pretty cool. They're just blending in. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but th this is just a big choice 
I mean, of, of a big change for me. So anyway, yeah, I think this will look good in my bedroom next to my TV where that LED lamp is right now, which I rarely ever use. And it would be nice because I have an Alexa smart plug that I got for Christmas that I could automate with that lamp. And that will tie in really, really nicely with the LED, you know, Dyson light that I'm going to set up probably tomorrow night. I, I just, I just don't have time today. But um, yeah, making changes. So I guess I'm in the market again for another office light, but it has to be RGB. I want something that animates like this. Look at that gradient. That's not bad. All right, for real. Let's go. And if you're interested, I will link this right below. We're here. I forgot to mention, they have the auto show here too. What's up? So I'll be sure to get that on camera. And I'm hoping to see a Tesla, but I don't know. You don't usually see Teslas in Strasburg. Yeah. Unless I try. I've seen some in the square. Mom, how you doing? Good. We have chairs like that. Which one? You didn't, you didn't bring me a chair. It's fee, $3. Ugh. $3 fee to take money out? Yeah. Guys, I was going to say, they have an AMT, an ATM, <laughs> American Music Theater. They have an ATM at Rudder's. No, we're going to our bank. Okay, bank. but I'm saying if you wanted that. Lanternfly. Lanternfly just flew into you. Here's my new car, guys. You like it? Oh, it's six feet too. Nice. Get in. I remember this radio, Dad. It's quite used. Dad, with the, with the EQ built into the, the radio. I have so many buttons on my dash that I never oh, use. Yeah, the original. And guys, that's what's so beautiful about owning a it's Tesla so eventually. Good, it's such a clean dash. Think about it. You don't use 80 to 90% of the buttons please. on your dash. So the back. Because back in my day when I got my Mazda, back in my I like I'm 90. This car is 21 years old. Because it's got a CD player, never use it. It's got radio buttons, never Damn use it. them. Looks amazing. Good for them. Mom, look at pants. I'm gonna have to call the police. There's a there's a dog in his vehicle. Corvette. Oh, I like that. I've oh. always liked vets. It's funny, Mom. Going on my walls, this is what my paint looked like. A little darker. Really? It was it was like a blue gray. Yeah. I like that color. This is a pretty car. I really like it. Tell him that. Don't say pretty, Dad. Say cool. Look how low that is. Think you have trouble now? I know. Oh, here we go. It's open. Very nice. Come on, back on. More cars. Look at this one. That's one I like that one too. That's a beautiful blue, isn't it? This one. It's really nice. Look at this color. Very vintage. Oh, memory of Ed Fisher. So clean. Look at that. Such a clean interior. I don't know what I'm looking at, guys. I'm just vlogging it for you. So cute. I'm more of a modern car. Look at the air conditioning guy. controls. Oh, in, in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. At least it had AC. Very clean inside. Look at this. There's his mask. Oh, look at this one. That's so nice. Pizza has been ordered. Thank you, Dad. We got a large pepperoni, half pepperoni. Yeah. They're not doing sausage today. I guess maybe short on ingredients. I don't know. But uh, yeah, they're, they're just something really nice about eating outside on the grass. I think we're gonna eat like over there. We're just waiting for the food right there. It's a good day today. Beautiful weather too. It's not really that hot. What? Good job. Pizza's here, guys. Cut very good. Finally. And we're conveniently near an emergency exit that Matters some kids high. decided to play with. Here, I need your plate. And now that alarm's gonna go off because of those kids. Yay for children. Napkins, I hope. No. I'm hyped. Are you kidding me? I'm covered in grease. Yeah, Why you wanna get napkins? I don't wanna go all the way back there. It's right there, David. Oh, it's gonna be big. Look at that. 
it just keeps going. Did I? No, it's over there. <laughs> Very nice, Strasburg. Good job. And special thanks to Strasburg Pizza for paying for the fireworks, right? Because today is our anniversary, guys. They opened one week ago today. No, like nine years ago or whatever it was. <laughs> one week. <laughs> could, could, you, could you imagine? By the way, guys, look at my rudders. I'm so happy for them. It is packed over there. So many cars, so many people. Man. Good business today. Hell no. Good times. And good pizza. Great pizza. Very good pizza. Steph? I'm hoping the camera picked it up well enough, but did you see those particle effects at the very end? Oh, those particle I effects. Oh, I no, love I it. Like, <gasps> Bonus. <laughs> they forgot one. He's yeah, like, oh, they found it. Good. My, he's like, oh, this is in my back pocket. <laughs> oh, found another one. Mom, you're so funny. I, I, I can't. <laughs> and I am home. Good time sent out the family. Let's see how this lamp looks in total darkness. It's not super bright. But as long as it looks cool. Huh. Okay, the camera's brighter than it looks in person. Not bad, right? Not bad, all right. I'm still pretty much confirmed that this will be going in my bedroom. So, pretty cool, look at that. I love a good gradient, and of course, I can I can change the mode too, with the um, included remote. The remote does feel and sound very cheap. Listen to this, but it's okay. As long as it works, um, in theory, I'm not going to be touching this that, that, that often, uh, because again, I want to put it on an Alexa smart plug, so it turns on and off every night in my bedroom. So that could be pretty cool. All right. For now, I'll just leave it on. Very cool, very, very cool indeed. Oh God, bright lights are bright. Cause I need water. I did not have anything to drink during dinner. I did have pizza for dinner. 
It's my first time having actual pizza in weeks. Probably over a month. I've had frozen pizza here and there. But yeah, definitely felt great to eat real pizza again. Gotta stay hydrated. Ah. It's already 10 o'clock guys. I'm gonna get my shower, go live on YouTube, and I'll let you know how it goes. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 6.42 a.m. 6.42 in the morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fix that screen. Guys, fantastic stream. What a fantastic stream. You guys, once again, absolutely killed it with the view count. I think I peaked at 139 viewers. Something like that. 130-something. Mind-blowing. And my, my average tonight, I, I, I can't see my average, at least I don't think I can. Uh, it, it was like 60 or 70 something, because I, I actually ended the stream tonight, today, like 7 in the morning, 6 30 in the morning, with like 60 people still watching. 60 people still watching, like hours upon hours of Valorant, and I had a lot of people in the UK say, David, it's so cool to see you live on YouTube, good morning, and really good vibes, like overall a good vibe. Like, really, really good vibes, guys. I, I, I just, I just want you to know that I'm thankful for that, you know? And as always, I don't really expect to make money on YouTube. Obviously, it's nice to make money because all, all the time I put into it. And a few of you sent Super Chats, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. Now, I've had some people once again ask me, am I switching to YouTube? No, not yet. It's just not realistic for me. Um, as a full-time content creator, I, I try to stick to platforms that can pay me over time. Because obviously I need to make money. Um, and currently on Twitch, I make on average every month between like three or four hundred dollars and like six or seven hundred dollars. Like lately, I've been, I've been making around like five or six hundred dollars monthly, which is incredible. Like I'm so so thankful for, for for that. And honestly, that money goes right towards taxes. It's 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 like my monthly tax payment, because obviously as a self-employed um, person, individual rather. I pay a lot of money on taxes, so I try to be responsible with that. Like I, I, I try to look for one source of revenue and just apply that towards that. So that's essentially what Twitch does right now. And for me to switch over to YouTube exclusively, I need more monetization options. Currently, YouTube has a membership program, which is great, but Twitch has gifted subs. That's something YouTube does not have right now. So if and when, not it, like, hold on, let me, let, let me, let me rephrase that. If and when, yes, if and when, meaning it will happen. If and when YouTube does get gifted memberships, then that's a heavy deciding factor in moving over to YouTube. I really have no problem leaving Twitch behind. I don't, but I need that revenue source in order for that to happen. Um, now for bits on YouTube, that's not a big deal, honestly, because it has super chat. That's kind of the same thing, but YouTube takes a cut of that, so. Uh, anyway. Oh my god, Zero, don't do that. Hi. You scared the crap out of me, dude. How are you? <laughs> Imagine talking to a camera and just something tapping your back out of nowhere. He's such a good cat. Hi, Z. Come here, dude. Come here. Lap kitty? Lap kitty? Maybe? Maybe not? Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just I just want you to know that, like, um, YouTube is a viable option, but obviously I'm going to need some things to change before I follow that option. But for the time being, Twitch is amazing, and I'll continue to do YouTube once a week. So, guys, thank you so much. It's time for me to sleep. I got to import you. And I'll see you later today. 8.08 p.m. And it's Sunday. Guys, I am out. Today got away from me. Let's just say once again, I went to bed around 8 in the morning, woke up very late. My top priority today was to edit the vlog, and that's exactly what I did. I'm all caught up. Called up the family and said, guys, I'm sorry, I'm not going to have time. But they actually ate before I called them, which made me feel better. Because I don't, I don't like the idea of my mom putting effort into a dinner. Um, then my not showing up. So it's all good. So I'm gonna have that grilled chicken, by the way, they were making grilled chicken, which sounds amazing. Um, I'm gonna have that tomorrow. I guess I'll bring it home for lunch or dinner, I don't know. Speaking of food, 
Hold on. Come here. Come here. Guys, come on. Now, please? Because I was staying home, I figured, why not treat myself to some more DoorDash, baby? I haven't had this in probably a couple months. Sunday homestyle chicken, hash brown casserole with some green burns. This is my favorite meal at Cracker Barrel. It is so good. The seasoning they use is just incredible. And I've never had these before, or this before. Oh yeah, these, cornbread muffins. So I'm excited to have them. I'm excited to have all of it. You're welcome. I was texting my dasher. Yeah, I always feel bad when they deliver in the rain. Um, but obviously I appreciate your service drivers. Thank you. Keep it up and stay safe out there. All right guys, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. I'm gonna watch some more Defending Jacob. I watched episode two earlier, really, really good. So yeah, I'm gonna watch episode three now. I'm gonna finish editing it, so I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. I'm gonna do all that stuff, take the trash out, and clean up around the house. You see this? Patrons, stay tuned. This next vlog is gonna start with me just cleaning. And actually, I'm gonna clean tonight, because I, I just like a clean house. But you know, sometimes as a homeowner, things get out of control, because you get busy with other things. It's all good. Speaking of catching up on things, I, I still have to list these on eBay. Find all this at Goodwill, so solid haul this week. Guys, thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to wear that mask. Protect yourself. Protect others. Stay positive. And I'll see you later. Peace.